Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making one of my favorite meal prep meals. It is easy burrito bowls and it's basically chipotle <laughs> at home. So first step is to get your rice cooking because the rice takes the longest amount of time. So it's nice to have it cooking while you are prepping and cooking everything else. I'm using brown rice. You can also use white rice or whatever kind of rice you want. It is really just kind of a build your own burrito bowl. So I'll show you what I do. I'll link the recipe down below. So check it out. It is from one of my favorite websites, Budget Bites. That's like my go-to for meals and meal preps and just cheap, easy meals to make at home. So we're going to get this brown rice cooking. This is from Imperfect Foods, which I have a video coming out about it. It's the grocery delivery service that I use. That's super awesome and sustainable. Let's get started on cooking with rice. Now it says quick cooking rice. Do you think, oh, it'll take like five, 10 minutes? No, it takes over 30 minutes to cook the rice. So don't be tricked by it. There is rice out there you can get that takes less time to cook, which I have used plenty of times, but oh well. So the recipe calls for four cups cooked rice. The cooking instructions say one cup brown rice and two and a half cups of water or broth. So I guess I'll do like two servings worth of this because that'll be two cups uncooked. Wait, let me see. So in the recipe notes, she says that she uses about one and a half cups of rice and two and a half cups of water. So I'll do, I'll do the same ratio. So one and a half cups of this and then three and a half ish cups of water. So we'll see how much that makes. It's better to have too much rice than not enough, I feel like, so yeah. Okay, so for this rice, it says once it starts boiling that I stir it. And then when I reduce heat to a simmer, which is just low and cover it with a lid and then it's just gonna sit for 30 minutes start and yeah don't have to do anything else with that all right my timer is going off so let's check on our rice so it's still watery like look at that so we're just gonna mix it up and let it just chill, maybe bump up the heat a tiny bit and cover it back up, give it some more time. All right, we'll just leave that there. I'll set a timer just to be safe, honestly, for like 10 more minutes. All right, so for this meal, we'll be making it with some ground turkey or you could do ground chicken or ground beef, whatever you really want. And then I'm gonna cook up a pepper to add some peppers into it and some onion, but that's not necessary. And then you're gonna need some taco seasoning for the meat and some frozen corn kernels and a can of black beans and some cheese, but you can really put whatever toppings you want on it. But this is what I'm gonna be doing. So let's get started. All right, so first off, we are going to wash off the pepper. I'm just using one because that's what I have, but sometimes I use multiple. Everyone cuts these different, but I like to cut off the top and I'm gonna have a bowl to put the extra pieces in to compost them. I like to cut out the little white parts and get the seeds out as much as possible. And then I'll probably just chop this into like dice it just so it's easier to eat. This just buzzed again. Timer's up, let's check it out. All right, it's a lot better, let's see. It is almost fully there. It's still a little moist, so I'm going to just leave it on for a few more minutes, five more minutes. Woo. 
All right, we are all done. I'm not gonna chop the whole onion up or anything. Just wanna have some. So now we're going to cook the meat and the peppers and onions. I'm gonna do it in two separate skillets. I don't know if you could, you could probably do it in one, but I don't wanna risk anything. So let's do this. So I'm using ground turkey, but you can use ground chicken, ground beef, whatever. You can use meatless ground meat. I've done that before and it's really good. The nice thing about ground meat is that you don't have to oil the pan because it naturally has oil in it. You may need some oil, but usually not. We will be cooking this over medium heat, which is the meat and then the veggies will be the same. So let's just wait for this to get hot and then we'll start cooking. All right, let's put the meat into the skillet. I can get it open. Beautiful. <laughs> you just wanna break it up so that it's ground and in little chunks. Chop, chop, chop. I don't think I'll need oil, but I can always add it if needed. And then we're going to add in the pepper. Well, we do need oil for this. A little bit of oil. Oop, that's kind of a lot, but it's okay. So just swirl the oil around. It's like steaming. The... Ooh, that's really hot. Okay, these are steaming, so I turned on my fan a little. I think they're done, and I will remove them from the heat. I'm running out of space, so I'm just gonna put it right there. Turn that off, and wait for this to finish cooking. I just remember I have spinach, so I'm gonna chop it up and put it in with the peppers, let it cook a little. Got my finger. You can also just rip it if you don't feel like cutting. Or you don't have to cut it at all and you can just cook them in the wilt up. Okay. I'm not even gonna turn this back on, I don't think, because I think just the heat from the peppers will cook it. Actually, I'll put it on just like a little. All right, so I put half a cup of water in here and then some taco seasoning, mixed it up, and I'm just gonna let it simmer for five minutes. This is all good to go with the spinach and peppers and onions and then the rice. So we're gonna get the Tupperware ready to prep. Right, so now we're gonna be putting the bowls together. We need to open the black beans and drain them. My can opener kind of sucks, so don't judge me. There you go. And then you can either drain them by like holding the lid down and pouring it, or I have a little thing like this my mom got me that helps me drain it, so I'm just gonna do that. There we go, all drained. We're gonna grab the rice. It's out of focus, but it is okay. Take a fork and we're just gonna fluff it up. It's not focusing on the right thing, but it's okay. It's a little sticky. Fluff it up some. Okay, so basically what we're doing is portioning the rice into Tupperwares. I'm not sure about how many it'll make. Sometimes it makes a ton, sometimes not a ton. I don't know. And then we're gonna portion the meat and the veggies and everything in there. And then the beans and the cheese and the corn. So now we're going to put it into all the different bowls. I'm just gonna start with five and then we'll see from there. Actually, I wanna eat one, so. Okay, I just start by putting like a scoop in each one. You could measure this if you want to make sure they're all equal, but I usually just eyeball it. I've measured it. It's just like too much effort, you know? Looks like I'll be able to do six total. And everyone's serving sizes are gonna be slightly different depending on how much you eat and everything. So this could make more or less for you. And it depends on what toppings you put in as well. Perfect. I'll put the beans in there. Fun 
Fun fact, I did not like black beans until like two years ago and now I literally eat them all the time. So if you're like a picky eater like me and you're like, no, I don't think I'd like black beans, just try it. I haven't gotten into any other kinds of beans yet, but black beans, whew, they're good. They're, there's like, they don't taste super strong or anything and they're healthy. Ooh, this is hot. Okay, let's just do it quickly. The peppers and spinach and onion. I don't have a ton of this and it got like really burnt, but it's okay. I usually would use multiple peppers, but I used all my peppers for a different recipe this week. So yeah, it's so sticky. Okay. And then the meat. Again, just start with a scoop of about the same size in each one and then add more from there. It is so far. Okay, so now we're just gonna add some corn. Mine's defrosted by now. And you can do frozen, and then if you're gonna eat one today, like I am doing, then just heat it up in the microwave. Add some corn to each one. I use the rest of what I have. And then cheese. That's the full meal prep. So we got everything in here that you would want to heat up. So basically you can just pack these in your lunch or put them in your fridge and pull them out when you're ready. And you can add salsa and avocado or whatever you want onto them. But you wouldn't want to like, I mean, you could heat it up with the salsa and avocado, but sometimes like it's a little weird. And then when it's time for lunch, you just open this up, grab one, and go. So when it's time to heat this up, you will just pour it from the Tupperware into a bowl. Heat it up for like 30 seconds, a minute. Okay, I'm gonna do a minute and get my avocado ready. So you can use a knife, but I'm just gonna use my fork because I'm lazy and I cut it up. Ooh, the bowl's hot. I'm a bliss. It's like steaming, so it's probably good. I heated it up and it is good and steamy. So I'm just gonna put the avocado I cut up into it. Salsa? Where did I put my salsa? And then you eat it. And that's Oh, thank you so much for watching this. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Be sure to turn on the bell notifications so that you get notified every single time that I post. I post a lot of fitness content as well as easy, healthy meals and meal prep. My dog always makes an appearance in every single video. So if you don't follow for me, follow for him. Comment down below your favorite meal prep meal because I definitely need some more because I make this like every other week. And if you try this recipe, let me know. And again, the recipe is linked down below. All right, guys, see you in my next video. Bruce, say bye. Say bye, YouTube.